Good morning, folks. We'll take a peek at the sun, see solar effect on technology in the upper atmosphere, get tidbits on a yellow hypergiant, and see more evidence that the galactic current sheet is impacting our solar system. As discussed yesterday, we've got a little breather from space weather here, only small filaments and minor active regions. Small pops, but no Earth-directed space weather of note. An observer sent us this one, and it's fairly basic in concept, but fairly enlightening in impact. Obviously, there's much more than the internet at risk in the realm of our technology, but this one details the online vulnerability for those unfamiliar with the topic. Indeed, a solar superstorm can take out systems worldwide, and it could last for a very long time. Up next, we find that we have a solar effect on the equatorial radar echoes, but that it's opposite of what we see at the polar region. Whereas solar activity increases polar mesospheric echoes, especially in summer, they have a distinct negative correlation at the tropics. Those with our latest book, The Observer Supplement, recall the repeated ejections from a yellow hypergiant star. We have seen several kinds of stars with repeated ejections, besides the white dwarfs once thought to be the only recurrent nova makers. Well, here's another one with a forecast for its next eruption as well. Last but not least, we are looking at the heliosphere, the sun's magnetic field that encases the solar system. Its first imaging of the heliosphere using energetic neutral atoms, ENAs, was 13 years ago and it showed an unexpected feature driven by the interaction with the galactic magnetic field. Today, we have the first full solar cycle results from the IBEX craft and in addition to showing a rise and fall in 2015 likely related to the solar maximum of cycle 24, the overall abundances exceed expectations just not for an observer. It indicates a greater gas composition to the region surrounding the solar system, not because there's generally more gas out in space than they believed, but because the extra material is coming with a galactic current sheet, and it's here, already impacting all the planets, interplanetary space, and the sun. This is the galactic hand driving the cyclical catastrophe punctuated by our sun's superstorm outburst come full circle. We greatly appreciate your support. Learn more with the Earth Disaster Playlist or our books, both linked below the video in the description box. We've got shots of our star to close and we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now at 6 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.